Hey everyone, my name is Nolan and welcome back to another Pixel Gun 3D Top 20 video. And first of all, I want to apologize for two things. First of all, my mic quality is going to be a bit worse than normal because my adapter that connects my mic to my phone is broken. So I'm literally just recording on my phone's microphone. Also, this video is going to be a day late. Uh, this weekend was Mother's Day weekend. I was out of town spending time with my family all weekend and also uh, busy doing stuff all day sunday so i couldn't get the video out sunday but i am trying to get it out to you guys today i've been spending a couple hours on this video so should be out in time but yeah we're jumping into the top 20 melees for you guys um hopefully you guys do find this list somewhat agreeable uh this is entirely my own opinion and i feel like i'm pretty confident on it it's a bit different than the last one however i've been trying to use the melee category more and i feel like that this list is going to be somewhat likable so if you guys do enjoy this video or maybe you even find this video helpful a lot of you guys find these videos helpful uh make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe with notifications on so you guys don't miss a video from me and yeah let's jump into the couple honorable mentions that we have so the first honorable mention that we have is foam sword and the foam sword is all right it has 90 mobility but other than that it's just kind of your generic two shot melee weapon um and it's kind of hard to hit shots from what i've noticed uh the reason why this is an honorable mention is because yeah it's pretty good with its mobility but other than that there's nothing really too special about it so that's why i'm like let's just put an honorable mention and then the next honorable mention is going to be fairy's poleaxe uh this melee weapon is just kind of all right too it's just like your generic super punch melee it does heal you or actually no i believe you have to hit a shot in order for it to heal. I think it was lifesteal. There was something weird about this melee weapon that made me like think that, you know what, this isn't actually worth being on the list, so let's just put it in honorable mentions. And it's also kind of slow. So yeah, there's the honorable mentions. Let's get into the actual list. So in the number 20 spot, I'm gonna go with Ban Hammer. And this is also just kind of a generic melee weapon. Um, however, if you can get super close to someone with decent level modules, it can actually one-shot, which is pretty nice. And it has 90 mobility, which makes the movement on this weapon very, very useful. Um, I think this might be available in the Trader's Van right now. So if you guys are one of the first people to view this weapon, um, you guys have a chance to get a pretty decent melee weapon um, right now. If you guys don't like anything else about this weapon, its movement is one of the best movements you can get for any melee in the game. So uh, get it for nothing else. Uh, I, I don't know. I can't speak right now. I'm sorry. Next up is going to be Goo Substance Scythe. This melee weapon is really, really good for getting kills because of how far you can reach someone with it. It has a huge wide area of attack. However, what really drags this weapon down is its movement speed and its attack speed. It's just kind of hard to get kills when you have to or when you're kind of slower than some other people. And also when you have to like actually hit your shots because if you miss, then you have a long cooldown to when you can actually swing your sword again. And so if you don't one shot, you might actually lose your fight that you're in. Um, however, I mean, sometimes it does one shot, sometimes it doesn't. It's just kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, what's really good about this weapon is just a huge area of attack that it has. Next up is going to be Ice Paws, and I've said it before, I'll say it again. I personally don't really like these melee weapons. However, it's actually pretty decent for getting kills. Uh, you have a decent fire rate with this weapon and movement speed. Um, however, it's just kind of really picky as to where you actually have to hit your targets. From what I've seen, um, you actually want to hit your targets from the side. And by that, I mean you want to like actually put your crosshairs to the side of your target rather than directly on them to maximize your damage, which I just find to be kind of annoying. Um, so it's just kind of like, I don't know if I really would recommend these weapons, but they're still pretty decent nonetheless. Next up is going to be One Punch Gauntlet. And what's very frustrating about this weapon is that it doesn't really one punch most of the time. However, <clears throat> from what I've actually been experiencing recently, it is actually one punching when it comes to the super punch more often, which is pretty nice. And then sometimes a headshot will one shot too, which is kind of cool. So for that reason, I decided to put it a bit higher or even like in the top 20 position. Um, but its movement speed is kind of slow and its attack speed is kind of slow. So you really got to hit your shots. Otherwise you won't win fights. Next up is going to be Reflected Santa Sword, and this melee weapon is pretty decent. It's just kind of your generic two-shot super punch weapon. Um, it has pretty decent mobility, which I believe is 85. I, it's actually pretty good. Uh, what's really cool about this super punch weapon is that the super punch actually shoots a one-shot rocket. The only problem with this one-shot rocket is it's actually kind of hard to aim with it. But what's cool is once you shoot your rocket, the weapon will instantly swing again. So if you're close enough to someone and you hit the super punch and it doesn't one-shot them, the swing will finish them off, which is pretty nice. Uh, so this weapon is just pretty easy to hit shots with. It does pretty good damage. Um, so that's why it's number 16 on this list. 
Next up is going to be Swords of Intelligence, and again, this is pretty a pretty generic uh, two-shot super punch, super punch weapon. It hits headshots, which is pretty nice. It has pretty decent mobility, uh, really good attack speed, and so its DPS is just pretty decently high. And so it's just a pretty good all-around melee weapon to have. Next up is going to be Armored Cuber Power, and I know what a lot of you guys are thinking for me saying this. You guys are like, what? The mobility on this weapon is not that good. The range on it is not that good. Its damage is all right. Its fire rate isn't really that good. But hear me out, okay? The reflection or the damage absorption, that's what it is, it absorbs damage, is absolutely insane. From what I've been talking to people, it's around 50%. However, I want to say it's way more than that just because of how much it tanks damage. So this weapon is more useful than anything else because if you're in duels and someone has ultimatum, this weapon will tank an ultimatum shot, which is crazy. It just it just uh, negates so much damage from enemies, which makes it very, very useful to stay alive longer. So um, I find this weapon very useful. I actually use it quite a bit because of its damage absorption, which is super crazy. And I really hope the developers don't nerf this because it's actually kind of overpowered and this weapon is going to be pretty rare. So yeah, I really hope that this stays pretty good. Next up is going to be thermal mecha knife and this melee weapon is actually pretty dang good you got 85 mobility which is already pretty good for a melee weapon and also it has a huge wide area of attack although it's actually not really technically wide as in like uh left to right it's more like wide as in up to down you have a really wide area of attack uh, up to down wise so actually what i recommend you guys do when using this weapon is actually aim up above the target to increase your chances of hitting them i know that's kind of weird to say but it is true with this melee weapon also if you guys have high enough damage modules or whatever um it will actually one shot headshot which is crazy so this melee weapon is actually extremely powerful and you know what? i kind of regret putting it so low but i do feel pretty confident that the weapons above this weapon are just kind of more useful or better in general Next up is going to be Screaming Saw, and this weapon is actually very similar to Thermal Mecha Knife, except I found that it seems to have an even wider area of attack than Thermal Mecha Knife. Um, whether that's up or down, left or right, it's actually kind of more both, which is kind of cool. And I'm pretty sure it does more damage just from me using this weapon, not looking at the wiki at all, just me using it, it one shot way more. And also it has weakening and disable jumps. So if you don't kill him the first time, it will be way easier to kill him the second time. So I just find that this weapon is a bit more useful. Also 85 mobility. And for some reason, my computer fans just went overdrive. What the heck? I'm literally only running discord. All right, I'm just going to hope you can't hear that and I'm going to move on. But yeah, Screaming Saw, pretty good melee weapon. Next up is going to be Double Cashback. And this, the damage on this weapon isn't really all that great. However, its movement speed is actually extremely good. It says 100. However, according to what a lot of people have said, its actual movement speed is 95, which is still better than a lot of weapons in the game for movement. So that's pretty nice. Um, I recommend magic modules with this so you guys can use um, like extra mobility, if that makes sense. When you get a kill, you get extra speed. I just really recommend this weapon for speed uh, than anything else. It is actually pretty good for getting kills, kind of, but its main uh, benefit is speed. So if you guys like having speed without having to dash or grapple, this is definitely a good way to go. Next up is going to be Runic Sentinel, and this is another extremely good melee weapon because of how well-rounded it is for just using for everything. It's really good for getting kills. It has 75 mobility, which isn't too great. However, it is still better than a lot of the 65 mobility melee weapons that are out there. It has consecutive explosions, which makes it decent to hit shots with. And it also regenerates both health and armor uh, automatically. It regenerates 8 health and 12 or 4 armor for a total of 12 HP total, which is pretty cool. So if you guys like passive regeneration, this is re a really good melee weapon to use. Um, and again, just very well-rounded uh, in every category for melee weapons. Next up is going to be the ODM gear, and this melee weapon is pretty decent for grapple. It's actually pretty good for grapple. Only downside is you have to charge, and also it doesn't always one-shot, which I find kind of frustrating. Uh, we'll get into why this is kind of frustrating later on, but it's still just a pretty good movement melee weapon nonetheless. Next up is going to be Temple Claws, and I'm pretty sure that this is still the second best dash weapon, or yeah, actually no, just dash weapon in general in the game. It has really good damage. It can even one-shot sometimes uh, with bleeding. Uh, 85 mobility, which already makes it very good for mobility in general, and it has pretty decent charge time, and by decent, I guess I mean low charge time, which is what you want, and it has really good dash distance, just making it an excellent um, movement melee, which is what a lot of people look for in melee weapons, so I feel pretty confident putting this 
weapon high on the list. In the number seven spot, I'm gonna go with Leader's Butterfly. And I know a lot of you guys might disagree with this. After using it, I kind of disagree with it myself. However, I have to keep reassuring myself, this weapon is actually pretty useful. Um, it, its main attribute is the acceleration after killing. And this weapon is actually pretty easy to get kills with. It's usually a two to three shot, which is pretty decent. I mean, it has a high fire rate and it's really easy to hit shots. So, I mean, uh, it's pretty good for getting kills. And once you get a kill, you move around the map so fast. So I feel like, yeah, this uh, melee weapon is pretty good and also looks super cool. Next up is going to be Jet Spear. A lot of people actually disagree with me on how much I like Jet Spear. I find this melee weapon to be very good, actually. Like, I, I actually probably main this weapon, this melee weapon, over all other melee weapons. It has a shield or barrier or whatever, which re reduces damage um, by just holding the weapon, which is kind of nice. But also, it's a grapple weapon that doesn't have to charge in the melee category. All you have to do is switch it, get over the small fix delay it has, and you can grapple. And it's a pretty nice distance grapple. It's nothing like ODM or uh, additional biting limb, but it's still pretty good nonetheless. And I actually would prefer just being able to switch with a fixed delay and shoot right away than having to charge. Because with the charge, you risk not being able to dash at all. And also, this can get kills too, which is pretty nice. Next up is going to be Fist of Fate. And this one probably catches you guys off guard. However, this, this melee weapon is insanely good for getting kills. At full charge, at legendary, it can one-shot ultimate defense armor, which I find insane, especially with counter modules. It, that's just insane, dude. Um, it's really easy to hit shots because of its burst attribute, so if you miss a couple shots, that's okay. Uh, decent charge time. It's only downside, in my opinion, is the fact that it's defaulted at legendary. So if you want to maximize its damage, you have to spend gems to do that. And also, I believe its mobility is 75, however, it might have been more. I don't know. Either way, this is still a really overpowered melee weapon. Next up is going to be additional biting limb, and this is the reason why I didn't- I was really iffy about even putting ODM gear on this list. Because the very existence of additional biting limb just makes ODM completely worthless. This weapon has more damage, a faster uh, charge time, I believe, and further grapple distance than ODM. It's just better in every way. It one-shots almost all the time with a body shot, which is super nice. I believe it even hits headshots. However, I could be wrong. And yeah, the grapple distance on this thing is astronomical. You, you can grapple the entire distance of the pool party map, which is kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, additional biting limb is a really overpowered melee weapon, and if you guys missed out on this recently, that's very unfortunate because you guys definitely should have bought it. That's why you subscribe to me so you guys know what weapons to get. Next up is going to be Heroic Epe, and I know I'm finally putting it a bit lower on my melee list besides top one. Um, this melee weapon is just very, very, very well rounded. It heals for 12 health per tick, which is very, very useful. It has 85 mobility, which again is definitely high. And it is a two shot if you hit the super punch, which is very easy to do because you only need to hit one shot to activate the super punch, meaning it will almost always two shot. It has poison, which is pretty cool. So it's just a very, very well rounded melee weapon. On top of that, it's legendary. So if it ever does come back, it might be a bit more affordable than other melee weapons. And yeah, I, I really love this melee weapon. It's very, very good and well rounded. Next up is gonna be Thermal Ultra Scythe. And this is by far the best dash weapon in the game. Its, tar its charge time is the lowest out of all of them. Its uh, dash distance is the highest out of all of them. This weapon can sometimes one shot, even though it's most of the time a two shot, which is very, very cool. Um, it's just a very, very good dash weapon. And I know a lot of people like using the melee category as a movement category. So this is definitely one of the best movement weapons you can get in the game. And finally, in the number one category, I'm going with Bloody Terror Axe. This, I, I, the more I use this weapon, the more I realize this weapon is so ridiculously overpowered. So it has acceleration after killing with an 85 mobility, which is already extremely good. This weapon is so easy to get kills with. It has a huge area of attack. So if you guys notice, when you hold the melee weapon, um, it, 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 it like goes in towards the center of the screen, if that makes any sense at all. So when you're just idly holding the melee weapon, anything to the left of the melee weapon is fair game for an attack radius, which is insane. It's just so easy to hit shots. Um, it has a really high fire rate, which is pretty cool. It has a life steal, which not only works on health, but also armor. So you can literally regenerate health as you're killing people. Um, it's just... It's just really good, and I feel like that this encompasses everything you could look for in a melee weapon. Movement. Yeah, movement is there. Getting kills. Yeah, getting kills is there. 
useful for healing. Yep, that's there too. Literally everything you need is there in a melee weapon, and so for that reason, I feel like this is definitely justified to be the number one melee weapon in the game currently. So yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up the video there. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video or found it helpful. If you did, again, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing for more Pixel Gun content in the future. And yeah, I hope to see you guys next week. Actually, let me let me, uh, let me me say this. I don't know if I'm going to make a uh, top 20 video next week because I'll be going out of town for a wedding. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyways, see you guys later. Bye-bye.